Anytime you come to a hold that's so big, you can actually wrap your fingers around it. That hold would be, well, back in the day called a jug handle. Nowadays, we just say jug. And that's a great opportunity to rest one hand at a time, chalk up, and catch your breath. The technique of using your fingertips on small edges is referred to as crimping. So a hold like this would be called a crimper or a crimp. Standard crimping involves bending your fingers so your fingertips are directly down on the hold and then wrapping your thumb over top as well if you need the additional force. It's a little easier on your tendons to do an open hand crimp, so I prefer that if I can get away with it. And it will help you develop really good calluses, which will help in your guitar playing as well. Any hold that you use by squeezing thumb and fingers together rather than pulling, we would refer to as a pinch. This is a fairly wide pinch. You find smaller pinches as well. Another type of hold that uses your thumb is, imagine you have a hold like this that's not as big as you'd like, and you find something over here you can hook your thumb on, we would call that a thumb catch. And that helps a lot. When you don't have a positive edge that you can really wrap your fingers around, oftentimes the hold is referred to as a sloper. And when you're using a sloping hold, it's all about friction and direction of pull. You really want to bring your elbow into the rock so you're pulling straight down. If I pull out on a hold that's slanted like that, it's not going to do anything for me. And another thing that helps a lot because it's a friction hold basically is chalk. So I'm going to bring my elbow in, try to pull straight down on it. And there we go, I've got enough friction to use it. When the most positive part of a hold, meaning the part you can get the best purchase on with your fingers, is the underside, we would call that hold an undercling. You can really power up on an undercling like that. When the best part of a hold is on the side, we do what's called a side pull. Grab the side, lean your body in the direction of pull, find the feet, push in the opposite of the direction of pull, and imagine your body's going to describe an arc pivoting around that hold like this. Anytime you use both hands, or both feet for that matter, on the same hold, it's called matching. So I'm going to match hands on this edge here, bring my foot up, and then I'm going to show you another technique called a Gaston. A Gaston is when you push outward like this. See how my hand is turned, my elbow is rotated outward, and that's going to allow me to free the left hand up to bump to the top out hold. Ready? All right. 